Uh, my dad was a patient um, okay. many, many years ago, about 30 years ago, and I um, was his caregiver. And uh, from that experience, I was asked to be on the board of the local hospice program, which was an all-volunteer program. And from that experience, I um, was really doing some research on offering hospice under Medicare, which we weren't doing in this community at the time. And so uh, because I had done the research and presented to the board, they said, great idea, Karen. Would you lead this until we can find somebody to, to do it? And I said, okay, because I did have flexibility in my job. And so I stepped out of the room, and they voted on me, and I became the director 28 years ago. So. Okay. I had no healthcare background, but uh, but I'm a learner, so I, I I like to to read and I like to learn everything I can about whatever I'm doing. So um, I did learn a lot very quickly, and our program did become Medicare certified then in, in 1991. So um, and and frankly, that was a wonderful thing for this community because we've been able to provide so much more than we could before as a, a volunteer program. And although a volunteer program was wonderful and the hearts of the volunteer are still what makes this program what it is, just in their willingness to give to others and take care of people, e even if they've never known them before. Uh, and yet, with the acuity level of people that were going home from the hospital, we needed more uh, nurses and social workers and physician help, and so becoming Medicare certified allowed us to do that. Okay. So our program was the first original hospice in the community, and actually we were the sixth hospice in the state to become Medicare certified. So it was at a time when a lot of hospices were beginning to look at that. and. Um, and our hospice has always been one of the lead programs in Kansas, so we're very proud of that. 